So Penn State is my first foray into IT. I've been in Penn State IT for a little over three years. And just within the last year, I moved into a more IT-centric position. Previously, I was in um, finance in Penn State IT. And then the majority of my career was actually in commercial banking. So I've only been at Penn State um, for a little over five years. Particular in my job as release manager, it's important for me to be able to gather and understand the needs of the requester and analyze the request to determine the value proposition of the features versus the effort to implement. So in short, it's a lot of collecting and analyzing data in various forms, um, which is something that I did in industry. I was a commercial credit analyst. So I have a strong analytical background and that financial analysis and data analysis in general has really helped me transition to Penn State. Um, also, networking and relationship building are soft skills that are essential to career growth in any field. Knowing your stakeholders and how they operate and building good relationships with them always leads to better results. And that's also something that I harnessed um, as a commercial lender. I was meeting with customers and I had sales goals um, and that basic relationship building um, was a great skill for me to bring over to my Penn State career. Um, the last skill that I think can be applied to any position is how to effectively communicate. This usually varies by the situation, but it includes knowing the best way to communicate, the right material to communicate, and also the right time to communicate. So my schedule varies widely from day to day, depending on where we are in the quarterly release schedule and also where the projects I'm working are, are on in their life cycle. Um, most days I spend about roughly 25% of my time on administrative activities, like setting agendas for meetings, following up on action items from previous meetings, responding to emails, those sorts of things. Um, and it varies from day to day, but usually an average of about, of about 25% of my day is attending meetings. Or 50% is usually dedicated to strategy analysis and preparation for the projects that I'm on. All knowledge of business skills in addition to IT specific knowledge has served me very well over my career. You not only need to know your IT skills, but also how that tool or that service or whatever it may be fits into the larger plan and advances the company's strategy. I'd also say figure out your strengths and focus on those. You don't have to know absolutely everything right off the bat. So when you're able to build a team, choose others that have knowledge in the areas that you don't, um, or at the very least, complementary skill sets so that you have a solid team and that you are able to learn some things from those people who have expertise in other areas. Um, and last, I would really advise you to work on soft skills. Knowledge can be acquired about any specific field. However, strong soft skills like communication and networking will serve you well in any job and help you to become a better leader.